Alright, this is a tutorial on trigonometry, mathematics, year 9. Um, after this, I will go on to year 10, 11, whatever. Just, you have to learn the basics first, I guess. Alright, the basics, number 1. Right angled triangles. Alright, right angled triangles, you basically need to find the opposite, hypotenuse, and the adjacent. Opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. If, if you don't know these, you have to learn them now. Alright, say, if they give you a marked angle, the one opposite to it is the opposite. The one, the side longest in the triangle, that would be AC, is the hypotenuse. The side next to the angle, apart from the hypotenuse, of course, is the adjacent. In this case, it would be BC. Note, this isn't the same for every triangle. Don't try to do it for every triangle or you'll be stuffed. Alright. Name the opposite side with the marked angle in each triangle. Can you name it in this one? If you named it correctly, it should be BC. The adjacent should be AB. And the hypotenuse should be AC. Alright. That basically covers what the sides of a triangle are. If you don't get it, then start this video again from the start. Alright, now we get on to a tad bit more harder stuff. Ratio of sides. Right angled triangles. Alright, you notice how there's the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse? Well, now you're going to use them to find out angles or sides. That's right, angles or sides, which means both. So don't get lazy on this one. Alright, let's make up a triangle. Let's say a right angle triangle. Sorry about my drawing, it's just a bit dodgy. Tad. <laughs> just a tad bit dodgy. Alright, let's say this side is 3, this side is 4. That angle is 60, all right? 60, and that would be x. All right. Firstly, you may need to learn the Pythagoras. It depends on how far you are in the syllabus at your school. All right. Pythagoras says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, it would be 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. This would be 9 plus 16 equals x squared. x squared equals 25. Now, if you take the root of this and the root of this, you get x equals 5. That equals this side. Right? That is Pythagoras. Now, this was pretty easy compared to all the other stuff that is going to be covered in this video. Of course, this video might be too long and be taken down by the YouTube people, but I don't really care. Wait, 10 minutes. Oh, crap. Alright. The sine ratio... Sine ratio is opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine or cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. The tangent or tan rule is hypo wait, no, not hypotenuse. It has nothing to do with hypotenuse. It is opposite over adjacent. That was pretty easy stuff to be honest. Alright? Now let's put that back into this triangle. Opposite over hypotenuse. That would be, if you wanted to find out what x is using the sine ratio, you would go sine 60, because that's the angle, sine 60 equals 3 over x, as that's the opposite, and that's the hypotenuse. And therefore, if you follow the various algebra rules, you times both sides by x, and you get x sub
sine 60 equals 3. And you divide both sides by sine 60. This in turn becomes x equals 3 over sine 60. Right? That has an e or without an e. It doesn't really matter. 3 over sine 60. And you type that into your calculator and you should get exactly 5. Alright then. Well, if you, you can also use that for each of these rules. Sine, cosine, and tan. Most likely you'd want to use tan because you have both sides already. And that is much easier to do than what I did, I think. No, that's for you finding an angle. Don't worry. What you want to do is use the sine or cosine rule, because the one that you need to find has to be in the ratio. That is the hypotenuse, and that has to be in the ratio. So you could have used sine or cosine. You couldn't use tangent as you have no value that has h. Alright, no value that has h. And therefore, you couldn't use the tangent. This would basically cover most of the year 9 work, I think. Yeah, most of the year 9 trigonometry work. And, well, that's about it. And next, I'm going to be covering year 11, 12 trigonometry using the sine rule, cosine rule. And don't forget, this um, ratio, they can only be used when you're using a right angled triangle. Right angled triangle only, alright? If you use it for any other triangle, you're going to stuff up and burn horribly. Oh yeah, I forgot to cover something. Let's say if you want to find out an angle, alright? Let's draw another triangle. 3, 4, name that X, and name that 5. It has to be 5 anyway. Alright, to find an angle, you still use the tan, cosine, sine ratios. But, however, you need to do one minor adjustment. You see how sine x equals 3 over 5? Well, you have to change this into inverse sine. If you have a Casio calculator, like mine, well, then you can do this easily by pressing the shift button, shift button, and then you press tan, cos, or sine. And that will give you sine minus 1. That is inverse sine. So you go sine minus 1, 3 over 5 equals x. And that will be that angle. But remember, after you find that out, you have to press the degrees, minutes, and seconds button, which is right there, if you can see it properly. I think you can. Okay, it's a hollow circle with three commas after it. You press that, and you'll get it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Um, some questions might ask for degrees, some seconds, some questions might ask for seconds, some questions might ask for minutes, and that's why you have to learn how to do it. If you don't, then when test comes around, you might just be stuck. And now that basically covers the year nine chapter. You found out angles, and you found out sides, and you found out how, what the ratios are. Sorry, I just had to burp there. And that's it. See you next one.